Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Yeah. <sighs> have you ever seen anybody have a New Year's resolution of losing weight? I have, and I have no issue with that. If people want to better themselves, good for them. However, there are several people living in a larger body who are not okay with your New Year's resolution of weight loss. Apparently, it's fat phobic. Today, we're going to take a look at some clips of larger people being upset at other people for having a New Year's resolution of losing weight. Merry Christmas, everyone. This is going to be a shorter video because a lot of you are probably hanging out with your family instead of watching YouTube right now like a bunch of losers. Luckily, I say nuts to that. Let's make a video. Before we proceed, please click the like button so that I may apply comb to mustache. hear any of you say that your new year's resolution is to lose weight people in that comment section they're gonna laugh are offended what am i not allowed to better myself what are you against being healthy by the way this is the jock scientist who previously tried and failed to lose weight before becoming a fat activist similar to fat doctor uk same origin story Vowing to exercise more, eat healthier, and lose weight were the top three New Year's resolutions this year. I bet number one is lose weight. And every year, there is a billion dollar industry invested in you wanting to lose weight. How many billions are invested in trying to make you eat more though? More than the diet industry? You could compare the amount of fast food ads you see with the amount of weight loss ads you see and see which one you see more. That was worded really stupidly, I'm sorry. You could see which one you see by looking at your eye and then you'll see, cause that's how you see, I'm sorry. My point is, you'll probably see a lot more fast food advertisements than advertisements for weight loss. Yes, I said it that way pretentiously on purpose. Nobody is stopping you. You would love to stop us all. But also maybe some people just don't actually care. And I can already hear all of the weight loss coaches and- Right, some people don't actually care. If you get butt hurt at somebody posting that they want to lose weight, um, you clearly do care. You wouldn't have such a reaction if you didn't. Former fat people and crybaby trainers being like, they're just stopping you from achieving your goal. And if you hire me, I can do this. The persecution complex on those people is so embarrassing. Is it as embarrassing as going online and calling everyone and everything fat phobic because you couldn't lose weight? To try and fail at something is one thing, but then to join an ideology that says that the thing that you tried and failed at was stupid is a whole lot of copium. You're not stomping feet tantrum mad about someone not being able to achieve their health goals. You're mad at the mere suggestion there are people out there that don't care about trying to achieve a body size you've convinced yourself is morally superior. Right, that's a whole load of lies right there. So, jock scientist just said that it's hard for others to believe that there are people out there who don't want to lose weight. So you don't want to lose weight, jock scientist? Which is why you tried and failed to lose weight and then started doing all this fat positive nonsense? That's like if you go to ask somebody out and they're like, nah, sorry, I'm not going to go out with you. And then you're like, I didn't want to go out with you anyway. Like, yes, you did. You just asked me out. So you're full of lies. The idea that there are people who want to make goals that don't revolve around making their body smaller sends you spiraling. The idea that there are people out there that achieved what you couldn't achieve sends you spiraling. I would argue that anybody that's living in a larger body who says that they don't want to lose weight is lying. Not just for the way that people treat you, but for the way that you feel. I can climb a rope without using my legs, and I have a torn rotator cuff. Literally, I can still do it. <laughs> Next. Happy New Year, everyone. Just a quick reminder that fat people do not owe you making a New Year's resolution about weight loss. Yeah, you do. You do. You, person that I do not know, owe me, the cynical dude, everything in life. Yeah, I was thinking that maybe weight loss really isn't that important to me, you know? I'm going to pursue other health-related goals for the new year. What? What will the cynical dude think of this, you idiot? All we do in life we do for him, you idiot. You will achieve. You will succeed because it's what he wants. If it is thy will. Oh. And if a fat person does decide that weight loss is what they want to do this year, it's not because somebody has made enough cruel and hateful comments to them, supposedly concerned about their health. Well, yeah, hopefully they're doing it for themselves. We all know the truth is you're not concerned about health. You just don't like fat people existing. What? Whoa. 
that took a turn right there. So we've been over this before. These people talk about how like, if you don't want to become obese, it's because you hate obese people and you want to eradicate them from this planet. So when somebody wants to help an alcoholic get sober, actually they'd rather eliminate them. It's a really bizarre way to try to paint yourself as a victim to say that people want to eliminate you. Especially when somebody's trying to lose weight for themselves. And there's still gonna be fat people in 2023, whether you like it or not. Okay. But maybe we can leave the hatred and fat phobia behind in 2022? Hmm? Hmm? Dude, don't hmm at me like that. Who do you think you are? All right, so that was weird. So if you want to lose weight for the new year, um, apparently that's not what you're trying to do. You're trying to eradicate fat people. Okay. Next, the number one thing I hate about starting a new year, weight loss content. All week I've had to look at Amber Rose and Keisha Kaor putting up memes about how people are shitting themselves trying to lose weight. And I need a counter narrative. So this is that, goddamn. I wouldn't recommend uh, sh yourself to lose weight. Stop torturing your bodies and build a personality. Get you a hobby, why? You can have a personality and also take care of your physical body, you know? People that are in good shape aren't boring because they're in good shape. There's nothing interesting about somebody that goes completely off the rails eating all this wacky stuff. I'm sorry, it's not as interesting as you think it is. Cause I'm sick of seeing it. Why? Does it make you feel some kind of way? I don't wanna see you disappear in my January after you didn't survive another pandemic. Disappear in January? What, from weight loss? When people lose weight, they have now disappeared. I only see people that are 200 pounds and up. I just don't, I'm so sorry, I really don't wanna see it now but if you go to a so it's triggering you a twerking class for the first time please post that that is chef's kiss so you want to see people posting themselves twerking but not working out why i'm not trying to shame you but i i am i am i want you to be ashamed of of yourselves right i'm not going to be ashamed because you feel guilty and insecure when you see others succeed you're the one who has shame here you're trying to project it onto us? I do. I <laughs> put you. I know. It, it, it goes against my politics. But I want some of y'all to have some shame when it comes to your fat shaming. That's, I want you to be embarrassed. Okay. Well, I don't think that's going to happen. People that work hard and achieve their goals aren't going to feel ashamed or embarrassed because you feel insecure and jealous of their progress. That's a nice try, though. If you better yourself, I want you to feel shame. Because I didn't. No, <laughs> I'm not going to feel that. Yeah, the smirk on your face isn't making me think that you actually believe any of this, right? That's what I want. That's that's what I would love to go into this year hoping for, is that you all get an iota of just like, damn, I can't say this no more. Because they posted their weight loss content or had a New Year's resolution of wanting to lose weight. Why am I trying to delete fat people from my life when I am a fat? Wanting to lose weight for New Year's is trying to delete fat people from my life when I am fat. That's a ridiculous level of narcissism to think that other people's weight loss has anything to do with you. They're not trying to lose weight to better themselves, they're just trying to eliminate fat people from their lives, especially you, center of the universe, you. All those people that are trying to lose weight to better themselves don't even know that you exist. I hate to burst your bubble. Also, and this might be a follow-up to you mid-sized fashion girls, be f for real. Yeah, be for real mid-sized fashion girls. You're not mid-sized, you're fat. Oh, okay, we're getting a little bit of different schooling on the fat spectrum again. All right, now there's no such thing as mid-sized, you're just fat. Okay, where does fat begin? And if you gain just a little bit of weight, your ass is going to have to shop at my stores too, so why- Ah, oh, so your butt hurt at the mid-sizes because they can fit into smaller clothes than you. Why not just advocate for Zara to go up to a size 24? So you're saying people shouldn't try to lose weight and get healthier. They should just advocate for Zara to go up to a size 24 instead. More of let's change the whole world because I can't change myself. Mid-size my ass. That is, that is a weird way of saying fat bitch. The, the bitterness coming off of this person is palpable. Okay, I'm done. All right, so that was the most bitter and transparent thing that I've ever seen. Your butt hurt at others for achieving what you didn't achieve, and you're getting mad at them for posting about it online. 
Midsize doesn't even exist. You're fat. Soon, you'll be shopping at the same store as me. Thanks for encouraging me, dude. I guess. So those were just some short clips of various people living in a larger body, being upset at other people's New Year's resolution of losing weight. By the way, I've added a link to join memberships in the description of the videos from now on, just in case you don't see the join button. There will be a link there. Merry Christmas, everybody. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.